Is your computer running slow? Be right back. You're not sure what it is? Here's a cool little utility. Uh, let's see. Here we go. If you got, uh, let's go to um, search for process. Oops. Explore. And here you go. This is the one. Process Explorer. This is kind of like a task manager on steroids. Um, this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and download it. Okay, there it is. It's downloading. Now I already had it downloaded. Um, and but we'll just let it finish here and kind of go through the process here. I'm running Windows 7. Uh, kind of runs the same on all versions of Windows from my experience. Now that it's there, let's go ahead and extract it. Let's minimize that, clean this up. Okay, let's go ahead and extract. Uh, actually, I just want to extract this exe. So let's um, extract that to the desktop so I can have it available. There it is. Okay. So now, what I like to do is dump this right into my System32 folder. So let's go um, uh, see. Oops colon backslash windows system 32 got that open so I do is just I'm just gonna copy that and dump it right in here since it's already there I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and replace it anyway why not okay there it is so now that it's there all you gotta really do is come here and since I'm running uh, Windows 7 it's kind of like Vista you just gotta type the uh, the name of the exe which is PROC EXP and there it shows up right away so just click that the way I like to set it up is oh there it is it's hidden down here on my other screen um, the way I like to set it up is I add the uh, switch the oh man what do you call it let's go view let's go to select columns go to process performance and context switch Delta basically that I can't even explain it. Basically, it, it tells you how many times a particular thread is accessing accessing the CPU per second or something like that. So I just added that and I dragged the column. It, it the column starts off over here, so I just drag it over here by the CPU. It's just where I like it, and I always sort by the context switch delta and have the highest one up at the top because not necessarily when if you're sorting by CPU usage. You know, like if you're viewing Task Manager here and you're looking at your performance, you're going, hey, it looks pretty good. And you go over processes, you sort by CPU, you're like, hey, you know, it's, uh, uh, I got the I, the system idle process is, is, is up on the top. And you're like, why, why does my system seem slow? Um, just because this one's high doesn't mean that this is high. So what I found at work, because at work I run a VMware server, on my main machine which I don't want to do but I had to do it for a particular reason for a, a backup server and because that thing runs it completely drags down my box and I couldn't figure out what was slowing down my box when I restarted so I opened this thing up my CPU usage didn't show anything out of the ordinary but when I put this thing up in there and sorted by contact switch Delta it showed my VMware uh, process my VMware server uh, process was taking up all this this uh, this uh, processing time so that you know at least that pointed me right in the, in the right direction um, there's a lot of other cool little things you could do and then you know here showing you what's uh, what what programs are using up all the, the RAM and the CPU usage and all this stuff so there's all kinds of graphs and crap there's a lot of stuff you can do here I mean you can dig down go to properties or something and look at uh, more details um, anyways, you can play with it. It's got a lot of good information. It's Process Explorer.